Well, welcome everyone. Uh, thank you for joining us. My name is Dan Weber. I'm the CEO and President of iTrax. I'm happy to be bringing you this webinar today. It's on uh, video-based research. Now, you'll have to excuse me. Typically, um, my wife manages this part. She's in charge of marketing, and she's left me with this task. She is out of town. And I don't know how it works in your family, but when my wife leaves, she typically leaves me a list. Yeah, not unlike uh, my list for managing the kids and supper and dinner and so on, she's left me a list on managing this webinar. Um, like usual, though, I'm going to start by not following it. And um, I just want to start by saying that I'm a real firm believer in, in video as part of qualitative going forward. I think there's so many great benefits of using video um, in, in online research. And I do think there's some impediments. I think we're starting to solve some of those as, as research companies. And I, Joel will go through some of that with you today. Uh, but I'm really excited about what we have to present, and I think that you'll find it uh, really engaging. So, um, just some housekeeping notes. There are um, 85 people registered for this event, and so due to the large number of people participating, we, we will not have an open phone line. What I'm going to encourage everyone to do is to enter their questions, if they have any, in the chat area uh, at the bottom of the GoToMeeting platform. Um, and we will have a question and answer session at the end of the webinar. Um, and at that time, we'll try to try to get to everyone's everyone's questions. So just feel free to type in that uh, as they come along, and, and we'll try to get to those at the end. So let's get started. Um, I'm going to introduce Joel Schmoltz. Uh, Joel's first uh, started at iTrax um, in market research in 1999. Uh, he was hired um, to oversee the uh, its qualitative services division. He helped develop and pioneer a large number of the online qualitative research tools in use today throughout the industry. Joel led the development of a first iteration of iTrack's industry-leading bulletin board focus group software, now known as iTrack's board. After a brief period as an IT consultant, Joel returned to iTrax, thankfully, and in 2006, and assumed the management responsibilities for the systems department, and subsequently led the operations group for iTrax from 2008 to 2012. Uh, Joel, uh, um, when I first met him, I told him, "You, you are the guy that's going to sell this products, these products for us." And he didn't. He, it took me an awful long time to to get him to do so, but eventually he switched over. He's uh, with uh, my sales team now, and Joel's. Uh, He's worked with in, bus in the business development role now for two years, um, and in addition, he assists clients in finding the value of transitioning their current research practices into online and mobile environments. So with that, I'm going to leave you with Joel. Joel, take it from here. All right. Thanks, Dan. Uh, greatly appreciated. Uh, and thank you, everyone, for coming today. It's my pleasure to be presenting this webinar on online video-based research. So. Some of the questions that, that come up with me on a regular basis from customers is talking about how we can integrate video methods and um, apply it to uh, their current research practices. A lot of uh, video uh, techniques are, are currently happening when it's video ethnography where you might be sending uh, researchers or video ethnographers directly into the field. Um, what we've done here at iTracks is we've started to develop tools that allow you to uh, supplement these, these research techniques and, and provide respondents with the ability to uh, record their own videos from mobile devices. Um, we've taken all our mobile stats out of uh, our presentations these days uh, because everybody knows mobile's here and it's, it's not going anywhere. So everyone basically has a very high quality video um, camera with their person at all times in the form of a mobile device. So it's really lent itself well to research and assisting us with um, uh, doing things like shop alongs, which you're seeing here in a couple of examples uh, on my screenshots on this, uh, on this first slide. So we have a variety of different ways to integrate video into our platforms. Um, we can stream video content within uh, asynchronous platforms, which is our iTrax uh, board product, also known as a bulletin board. And uh, we can also do live streaming video uh, through uh, webcams, uh, where, which will really mimic uh, online focus groups. And a uh, couple of great options there that I've just reviewed. But I'm going to go through a lot of these things in greater detail as we go through um, the, the slide presentation. So some of the benefits that we have with video-based research 
which is number one, it's cost effective. It really saves on uh, travel time and, and travel expenses. Uh, with, uh, with the real-time offering, which we're seeing in the screenshot here over on the right, um, it can become expressive. You can actually see facial expressions and, and body language. So in, in some cases where, where um, you're doing um, user experience testing, for instance, uh, if you don't see the person um, and they're not telling you that they're having some difficulty finding uh, an area on a website, for instance, um, you may not capture that, but with the webcam turned on, you are going to see that even if the, the respondent is not necessarily saying they're having some difficulty. Um, accessibility is, is also a great uh, uh, term that we can cover and topic. Uh, when we're doing recruiting with really tough to reach individuals, it, the online methodology with webcams really allows us to, to go out geographically and uh, bring people in from across the country or, or even in other countries uh, for that matter. And that's really one of the key drivers that's really causing a lot of growth in online uh, qualitative research, in particular with webcams. Um, instant reporting, so uh, reports are available through transcripts um, with the discussion board in the community. We also have video files available that can be streamed immediately following your session, uh, or you can actually download offline video recordings um, in our real-time uh, products. Uh, the asynchronous products give you the ability to create videos yourself of little um, video highlight reels, actually, and you can download those files directly to your computer. Some of the considerations that you may want to uh, look at before moving forward with a video-based uh, focus group, whether it's asynchronous or in real time, um, is device access. So your respondents have to have access to uh, webcams, uh, perhaps a laptop or mobile. Um, this is really becoming less and less of an issue. Um, in the past, uh, I used to run our operations team here at iTrax for about four years, and we were sending out webcams and uh, uh, video recording devices on a regular basis, probably every couple of weeks or, or every month at least we'd have one or two projects where we're sending out devices. I actually haven't sent uh, webcams uh, to anybody for quite some time now because we're actually just screening uh, for this, uh, for people to have these devices available to them to participate in the research and uh, it's really not uh, causing us any issues any longer. Uh, everybody does have access to these, these devices now. Um, Fixed broadband, uh, fixed broadband internet, that's something to consider. In North America and in, in some uh, countries in Europe, uh, fixed broadband is very uh, easy to get. Lots of people have it in their homes, not just their businesses. Uh, so really easy to, to do this type of research when people are, are connecting directly to the internet. Um, when, you're, when you're working with emerging markets, uh, take Brazil for instance, a lot of people from their homes are utilizing mobile cellular subscriptions. So uh, there can be some challenges in uh, streaming video, for instance, in real time in those emerging markets. And that's where we start to push people to our other uh, products, which is the asynchronous discussion board. If you still want some asynchronous video, you can do that with people on, on mobile cellular subscriptions. Um, but the real-time video is definitely something to uh, uh, maybe consider not utilizing in some of those emerging markets, just until they get their, their internet uh, connectivity uh, up to par with uh, what we're seeing here in, in North America and some of the other countries like Australia and, and uh, Great Britain, France, Germany uh, do lots of, of projects uh, over there in real time. But uh, when we're talking about markets like Brazil, Argentina, China, um, Russia, I, I sometimes will steer my customers away from real time video uh, projects. Some of the general considerations that uh, you may want to consider when you're executing these types of projects is privacy concerns. So uh, dealing with uh, patients, for instance, um, you may have some sensitive topics that you're covering and, and uh, they may not feel comfortable um, being on a webcam. Uh, so that's something that you definitely want to consider. Uh, data security, so it's important to work with um, a partner that uh, it takes um, information technology uh, security posture seriously. So iTrax uh, gets audited probably uh, almost 10 or 12 times a year by uh, a variety of different uh, research agencies and brands. 
to ensure that we are um, adhering to uh, today's IT security standards. So that's something that uh, uh, you should be taking uh, into consideration when selecting a partner to do these types of projects. Also, uh, the appropriate video type uh, methodology is used. So uh, I talked a little bit about real-time video and asynchronous video. So you want to make sure that you're picking the right um, platform for, for those different types of research. And I'll, I'll get into some of the different uh, uh, research types a little bit further on in my presentation. And then time requirements. So um, always consider um, asynchronous video, for instance, if you're sending people out to on a shop along exercise for instance, you are going to have to pay that respondent a little bit more than you normally would because you know they're getting into their vehicle, they're driving to the shopping center, and uh, they're recording some videos. So you may not uh, be able to use your typical incentive formula. You may have to pay some additional incentive to encourage people to go out and do that. So we have a variety of different uh, video software capabilities amongst our product suite. Here are the main ones. So iTrax Video Chat is a real-time video webcam focus group platform. Um, iTrax Board and Community, so these are two uh, separate products that are, are working from within the same platform. And uh, we have uh, the ability to integrate video webcam responses into these products and also mobile video. And then iMarket is a, a tool that can be used to upload videos for qualitative feedback. So respondents can actually leave qualitative uh, comments on, the, on a frame of a video while it's playing back over the internet and uh, provide feedback. So that's a great uh, tool and something unique to iTrax. Survey services. We also have um, the ability to uh, capture video uh, responses and, and do video dial testing uh, right within our, our platform. So here's uh, iTrax video chat. So this is a quick screenshot, and, and we're seeing a, a series of uh, webcam feeds up here and uh, some polling questions. Um, this, is, uh, this is a great tool, and this is our fastest growing uh, platform or product at iTrax. So really, uh, really a lot of people like to, to um, when they're moving from traditional-based focus groups and supplementing that with online methodologies, this is typically a, a platform where a lot of people get started. So uh, a, great, uh, a great offer here from iTrax, and, and the typical uh, output here from this technology is a recording um, in the form of a video file with all the audio integrated into that video. We utilize a teleconference bridge with this product, so people are still phoning in with their telephones and then they're turning on their computer webcams. The reason we do that is, is because we want to ensure that we've got a really clean uh, audio file that's associated with our recordings for these sessions. Um, here's another screenshot uh, of the iTrax video chat platform. Um, the video focus groups really work great for research where capturing facial expressions is important. So if you really need to see them reacting to any stimuli or, or um, doing user experience uh, testing, for instance, uh, that's where facial expressions is important, and that's this is when you would want to select this type of product. And then doing research with participants in either remote locations or geographically dispersed uh, locations, uh, this is a great product to choose as well. And then if you've got a limited budget, you need to eliminate that travel expense uh, from your research, uh, then this is another great opportunity to, to conduct uh, this type of research. So I'm going to do a quick demonstration of iTrax video chat. So I'm going to bring it up here um, on my screen. Uh, so just bear with me for one moment. So we're going to see uh, myself, Heidi, and Dan. We're all um, up on our webcams, and Dan's uh, giving us a big smile. I'm going to pretend to be the moderator, and uh, Heidi and Dan are my participants. So this is really um, the, the interface that you get when you're conducting a group. So we've got a great example here of uh, just a small uh, uh, dyad, I guess, and uh, we can actually uh, see their facial expressions. We can share stimuli. Um, what I'm going to do right now, actually, is share uh, uh, a document to my uh, 
uh, screen and uh, we can actually secure feedback on this particular concept from our respondents. So I've already got some, some markup here on this particular concept and uh, it is a really slick tool. Uh, I can turn my uh, highlighter tool on here um, as a moderator or you can imagine a respondent and we can draw things like arrows or, or highlight text. Um, in this particular concept. So really, really neat way to, to uh, provide uh, a way to, to do uh, stimuli feedback directly on a webcam-based online focus group. I'm going to stop sharing here and uh, one of the other examples I wanted to show you is uh, also the ability to do polling questions. So um, as the polls come up here, we can actually go ahead and answer these polls. So uh, Dan and Heidi, why don't you click away, um, give me some answers. I'm going to click and, and answer some of these as well. And then we can actually even broadcast uh, the results to the respondents as, uh, as they answer the polls. So kind of a neat way to supplement the, the webcam-based uh, research. Over here, I'm going I'm to go to one of my other layouts. And um, this is an example um, of a user experience test. You would typically only do this um, in an IDI format or an in-depth uh, interview. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to share my screen. I'm going to choose my second monitor and I'm just going to bring my window back up here and we're going to preview what I'm, what I'm showing now. So now I'm actually looking at, uh, on my second monitor, the iTracks website. So if you can imagine this is a respondent and I want them to find information about uh, iTracks video chat, um, you can see that uh, I'm navigating through the website here and I'm going to go into uh, one of my menu options here and click on the video chat link. So uh, just a quick example of, of how we can utilize uh, this webcam technology for doing focus groups and uh, providing uh, feedback on user experience when they're utilizing, in this example, the iTrax website. But this could be an online app. Um, it could also be another website. So very uh, flexible in terms of uh, capabilities here uh, within the, the technology. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to minimize this down. We're going to go back into our, our PowerPoint deck and uh, I'm going to move on here to the next uh, uh, product, which is the iTrax board product. So this is a great screenshot um, as well. We're looking at uh, Bob here, one of my colleagues in the iTrax uh, sales team, and he's actually doing a shopping uh, exercise um, at uh, a golf store. So we're also seeing the highlight reel here. Uh, this is an ability to code and tag your videos that have been uploaded by respondents and uh, we'll go through a quick uh, demo of this uh, capability as well. So uh, in terms of uploading video responses, I did mention this earlier, but I'm just going to restate it. Uh, respondents have the option of recording video asynchronously from a webcam or from a mobile device. Both are included um, inside of this technology. Uh, the report output is a, is a text-based transcript with embedded video highlight reels and coded videos. So you have the option of uh, downloading your transcript and just viewing the videos from within that transcript or you can actually create custom videos with our highlight reel uh, creation tool and code your videos and then download uh, the highlights uh, directly to your computer desktop. Um, and the, the integrated mobile app is great because uh, our, our mobile version of our software is, is completely um, self-contained within the discussion board uh, uh, engagement and respondents have the ability to interact with all the other participants. Um, there's no real limitations in mobile. You can, everything you can do on the web virtually you can do in iTrax mobile. Here's a couple of screenshots uh, of the mobile software. We actually have three distinct apps. We have an iPad app, which you're seeing here on my screenshot, and then an iPhone app, and uh, that's a great example of a video being recorded at a grocery store. But you can see that uh, we have a lot of extra screen real estate on the iPad, so we're actually making use of that. Uh, with the iPad app and, and a few great things that are that uh, I'm seeing being done with iTracks Mobile is in-home usage testing. We're doing a pile of that type of research now. Um, video ethnography and, and diary studies, uh, another great uh, usage for our platform, and then shop along studies. So I've uh, done um, a tremendous amount of projects uh, where people are, are going into uh, the shopping environment with their mobile devices. 
Um, the iTracks community platform is again based on our discussion board software. Um, one of the differences is we allow you to load more users into the platform when you're running the community with us and then we also provide uh, a points module as well to encourage uh, respondents to participate and incentivize them based on their points that they're receiving for certain activities. So for instance, if, you, if somebody completes a shopping activity, um, they may receive uh, 100 points which can be equated to an incentive uh, dollar amount. So pretty, pretty cool software and pretty cool uh, way to, to conduct research and uh, reduce your incentive budgets uh, with uh, your consumers. Um, this next slide is, is just a quick picture of that points module so we can actually see uh, how our respondents are doing here in that uh, current period. So uh, really, really great for running uh, proprietary panels, uh, medium-term feedback engagements, and then also multi-stage projects with quant and qual exercises. We can actually embed survey links to other survey platforms. For instance, if you've got a Qualtrics license or a Confirmant license, you can actually embed one of your survey links right into our platform and uh, send respondents uh, with their user ID information over to those third-party surveys. So I'm going to bring up a, a quick demonstration of this as well and we're going to focus on video. So bear with me for one moment. So what you're seeing here is the iTrax uh, board and communities uh, platforms and um, I, I've actually already gone into uh, a topic here inside of the software and you can see that I've, I've got a series of videos that have been recorded. Um, I've also got a picture that I've uploaded here. This is my son Luke. Uh, he thought it would be pretty funny to load a picture of himself making a funny face on my phone so I'm getting him back by sharing this with everybody to play two demos for but uh, we've also got a series of videos. You can see me here quite a bit um, as I'm um, actually, uh, this is my demo board so I'm on uh, this quite a bit. I've also got the mobile version uh, of my software which I'm going to bring up here uh, in just a moment and uh, we'll take a look at uh, a video response uh, directly from mobile. So in the background I'm in the web version of our software and now that I've got my iPhone 6 up um, I can actually log into the same exact topic um, on this board as a respondent. So this is your last vacation. I'll scroll down a little bit here and we can see uh, that the, there are the same videos recorded. There's my son again. I'm actually going to reply to this uh, post. I'm going to choose a video response. I'm going to flip my camera around here so you're going to see me in real time uh, in my office. I'm going to hit the record button. So I'm actually recording a video live uh, right now from my iPhone 6 and it's actually going to be uploaded into our discussion board. So it's a really easy uh, interface to use as you can see and I'm going to choose to use that video. I get a little thumbnail here um, of what I've uh, shown and uh, you'll notice before I hit the submit button that we also have a camera icon um, at the bottom which allows me to attach videos or pictures that I've already recorded on this particular device to the software. So not only can we record videos live and submit them, we can also attach videos that are already recorded in our device library. So I'm going to go ahead and hit the submit button. We get a, a little progress indicator here um, at the top. That's just a, a visual indicator to me as a respondent that my video is uploading. On our first iterations of, of iTrax Mobile, um, we were actually requiring the entire video to be uploaded in one step. So what would happen is if someone recorded a five minute video, uploaded let's say two and a half minutes and then put their phone away in their pocket, that video upload would get interrupted. Now what happens, um, and they, the respondent would have to start over. Now what happens is we use a multi-part upload uploading service, so we're actually slicing that video into small parts and uploading one part at a time so that if a respondent puts their phone in their pocket before that video is uploaded, the video upload actually automatically resumes the next time they fire up their app, which is a great uh, user experience improvement uh, from the respondent's perspective. Um, our video upload success rates are incredible now uh, with our mobile app. So we're going to come in here and we're going to refresh our screen. And uh, we're going to scroll down here a little bit and we're going to look for uh, the video that, uh, that I just recorded. Um, I'm just going to try and find it here. Just bear with me uh, for a moment. 
I, you can see here that I've got a lot of replies, um, and they're all to my son's picture. So here it is. Uh, here's the video that we just recorded today. Um, it's uh, been posted uh, just a few moments ago. I'm going to hit the play button here on my uh, on my device, and so the video. Let me just mute my speakers for a moment too. So the video is uh, really great quality, and uh, it's coming from my iPhone. And what I've brought up here is my tagging interface. So I can actually code this video right now. And uh, let's say I want to create a code here for an aha moment. I can actually scroll down here to aha moments. And I can make sure my tag lines up with where I'm at in the video playback. And I can leave a text description as well. Um, I'm not limited to creating just one tag. I can actually create another tag as well. So let's say we've got an aha moment earlier on in the video, and I'm just clicking and dragging here. And uh, we're leaving another text comment. And I'm going to go ahead and save and close uh, this uh, video editor. So we actually see that I've got two aha moments uh, on this particular video. Uh, they've been coded. I see that I've got some other uh, uh, codes here for uh, other uh, platforms, or pardon me, from other videos. And if I go up now to the very top of my screen, I can jump into my video highlights section. And what I see now is all of the videos that have been recorded um, on this particular demo project. By default, I get all the full-length videos first. I can actually drop my category filter down, choose just my aha moments, and have all the, the video thumbnails um, filtered now on this particular aha moment uh, video code. I can go to page two, which is where all my new um, codes are, and I can actually drag down um, these video codes directly into my highlight reel and I can even view this video online in my player and I can see it get combined automatically and I can create um, this video now um, by just clicking the create video button so it's really that easy. This is all built in natively to our technology. Once I hit the save button here um, that those three codes go up to our video conversion server and a video is now being created that I can go ahead and download once it's finished. I don't have to wait for it to finish. I can come back in here and I can uh, um, remove all the, uh, all the codes on this video highlight reel and I can actually grab another category, let's say. Let's grab happy and report quote. And I can start working on my next video. And it's all a click and drag, so very convenient uh, interface when working with video in this asynchronous bulletin board platform. Another thing to quickly show is our transcript engine. Um, we do have very advanced capabilities here as well. We can filter on uh, participants and questions. Um, we also have a few different options for downloading our transcripts from this platform. I'm going to stick with the Word format, which is the default. I'm just going to grab everything here for this example. What I wanted to show you is, is we have actually are creating a native Word document here, but we're pulling in all of the video um, and uh, photos that have been uploaded um, on this particular uh, project, and it's going to thumbnail uh, everything um, right inside of the document. So it's a 6 meg file, so it's very manageable in terms of uh, emailing and, and pulling down from our system. And I'm going to open this up in Word, and we're going to scroll down and take a look at uh, our first few posts here. So I got a couple of images uh, that have been uploaded. Another neat thing that we can do here is we can actually turn on our navigation pane. And what happens with that is we're utilizing the navigation pane in Microsoft Word, and I can actually jump down to your last vacation, which is where we just were in recording videos, and I can see all my thumbnails. Um, there's my son again and uh, I can see all of these thumbnails on the videos that we had just uh, recorded inside the platform. So really uh, great uh, usage here of the software. There's the video that we uh, just recorded, so I can actually hold the control key down on my keyboard and click on this video thumbnail, and what happens is it brings up 
um, an interface here for me to log into and I can actually view this video as long as I have internet access uh, online and I can even download the video clip from this screen. So really great way to, to give you an ability to provide raw transcripts to your clients and have them view the, the videos online without having to set up drop boxes and emailing videos which can be large. Uh, makes it just really easy uh, for you to kind of review these videos uh, if you have an internet connection. Okay, I'm going to jump back into my presentation. I'm going to keep moving forward here. Just bear with me for a moment as I get my bearings. So the next item that I wanted to show is iMarket. So this is um, a tool that's, that's really unique to iTracks and we secure qualitative feedback on videos that are streaming back over the internet. And this product can be integrated into qualitative uh, online focus groups or it can be integrated into our iTrax discussion board platform or the iTrax community platform. It can even be integrated into quant surveys. So if you just want to secure uh, feedback in a survey environment, we can provide integration into this platform, into your uh, third party survey platform, whether it's Qualtrics or Confirmit or, or whatever you're using with this tool. And we can actually uh, pull respondents in via redirect uh, links um, and then we can actually send respondents back to your survey on the, resume, the appropriate resume page. Um, the report output here is uh, really neat and I'll, I'll show you that uh, in my demo. Um, so here's a screenshot of the reporting interface actually uh, on a video and um, it's great for media concept evaluations, uh, video ad testing, we've done a lot of online video ad testing like for YouTube channels uh, for instance and, and uh, we've done a lot of uh, TV program testing and even uh, commercial uh, TV commercial testing inside of this uh, product. So I'm going to jump into a quick uh, demo of this as well, uh, so just bear with me for a moment. So I'm going to open up this video from the moderator's perspective that we saw in the presentation. Um, first of all, what happens, this is, this is almost identical to the respondent experience um, with iMarket. Uh, we're able to provide a series of instructions into the iMarket as they come in from their survey or from a qualitative online focus group and we can actually play this video back and secure feedback. So I have uh, three emoticons enabled here in this case, like, dislike, and question. Um, so if I want to leave a like comment here, I can do that at any time. So uh, we have a comment showing because I am in the moderator view from Tim at this point, uh, but I can leave um, I can leave a comment directly in um, the software or in the iMarket video. It's, it's, it's applying a comment to this particular frame and uh, what we're seeing down below here from the moderator's perspective is the ability to click on these little triangles that are facing downwards and see other feedback that has been left from my other respondents on this particular video. So very easy to use um, and uh, we can actually filter our comments here on the right hand side from the moderator moderator's perspective and again the respondent perspective of this tool is almost identical to this. The only difference being they don't get the reviewers tab here and they do not see other people's comments along the bottom of the video playback. Um, but they do have the ability to see their own comments and play this video back and again leave comments right on the video at any time. So um, another quick example here of dropping a dislike, in this case emoticon, um, onto uh, uh, the, the particular frame in the video. So just to show you quickly how easy it is to use this and, and provide qualitative feedback on a video that's uh, ready to go um, either on television or on the internet on a YouTube channel, for example. So I can go ahead and, and save and exit here um, from this interface. 
and we can also see if I jump into uh, the advanced reporting page, uh, we can actually see uh, aggregate responses here on this particular video. So we have 24 uh, like comments, four questions, and eight dislikes. We can actually jump into, we have a word frequency report as well, but we can actually jump into uh, the video itself and we're seeing this histogram at the bottom and we can see uh, where these comments are being made on this particular video. Uh, we can even play the video back here in the reporting engine as well. We can turn our comments on and uh, we can actually go ahead and just click on these comments and see where they're being left on the particular video. We also have the ability to download an Excel file um, of these comments and, and this is pretty neat as well. So if I go into the export report uh, option for this particular uh, uh, file, we have the ability uh, from this screen to generate an XLS report. Uh, for instance, with all of our reviewers, I can click the generate button here and this is building an Excel file right now in real time dynamically. So I get all the up-to-date comments here and I can open um, this Excel file right on my computer desktop and I can see everybody's qualitative comments with timestamps um, inside, inside of the video. So I just have to click here to view and uh, I can grab uh, this particular Excel file and open it on my computer. So I see all the, the comments that have been left here and then we have our timestamp here as well in column D and we see the aliases that have been left. So a really great tool for doing video analysis uh, online over the internet. Okay, I'm going to jump back into our uh, PowerPoint uh, presentation here as well. So we also talk about survey services. So we can actually integrate uh, this next tool, which is a video slider or video dial test, directly into a survey or, again, into an online qualitative focus group uh, engagement. So uh, we have a, a few options here uh, in terms of uh, integrated video uh, with surveys. We have uh, video responses, iMarket exercises, and video uh, dial testing. And um, then I can actually show you a demo of this as well. So I'm going to jump into um, my option, my uh, window here for this, and uh, what we're going to see is um, a video being played back that's that's pretty familiar um, to everybody um, on this uh, particular platform. I might have to just refresh my screen here uh, because I was logged into this uh, into the site, and it's looking like my uh, my uh, system timed out a little bit. So this is our, our just our default. Um, uh, survey demo that's available right off of our website and uh, we can actually play um, this video back on the system and you can see here that I've got a, a little dial that I can adjust right or left and I'm rating this video uh, on a dislike and like scale as I go through and watch it and normally the audio would be playing here as well. Uh, this is a great Super Bowl ad and, and one that that uh, is probably very familiar to everybody, but uh, just a great example of how um, this tool can be utilized. And you can see that I've left uh, the dial alone now, so uh, we also can configure a warning message to respondents to use the slider uh, to indicate their preference for the video. I, I believe the default is set to 10 seconds, but uh, you can set that to, to whatever you'd like. So just another great example of, of how you can work with video in iTrax uh, tools. Okay, I've got a few case studies um, that I'd like to cover. This, this first one is really interesting. Um, this was an SUV feedback um, study. So um, w the reason we conducted uh, this project was, was not really research-based, but it was more to find out or to generate statistics on how many uh, participants are um, actually willing to submit video content on a non-required question without providing telephone reminders and, and uh, you know, calling the respondents two or three times a day. Uh, th this was a, a great kind of internal project uh, run uh, here at iTrax and, and uh, we actually asked people um, to uh, really connect directly from a survey screener online, come directly into uh, an iTrax discussion board and then download um, the mobile app uh, to provide video responses in this particular project. And we can see that 53% of our participants submitted video content 
on a non-required question. So that's those. These are great statistics that are really helping to to drive additional video research activities happening um, in our platform. We did. We also did some additional research activities, which included some polling questions and uh, static image markup exercise with the iMarket tool. So here's one of the heat maps uh, that was generated um, on an, on a, the interior of an SUV, and uh, this is a, a great looking heat map. And where we're seeing the darker colors, uh, that's a, a higher uh, indicator of of people clicking. Um, and what we're seeing here in terms of the color of the data points, uh, the reds are dislike. Uh, the greens are uh, likes, and then the yellows are uh, confusing or questioned. So, uh, really great uh, heat map, and uh, this was from uh, live respondents. And here we're seeing some of their comments associated with this region uh, on this particular heat map uh, on the static image of this interior, and uh, just some great examples of, of how you can leverage uh, iTrack's iMarket tool to conduct. Uh, concept-based uh, research or secure qualitative feedback on stimuli like we're seeing here. Uh, within the, this particular project, we also made use of, of mobile recorded videos, and um, I'm just on my next slide here. We're going to turn my, uh, my volume on, and uh, we'll take a look at some of these videos. So, really great uh, quality videos are coming from respondent mobile devices. Those were some examples of uh, uh, negative videos. The, the video on the right, if I just uh, back up here to my uh, previous slide, the video on the right is some, some examples of some positive comments uh, that are coming in from the respondents. So I really, I, I really love these videos that, that come in uh, to, to, the, uh, to the product uh, via iTracks Mobile. It, it makes it really easy for respondents to, to do these types of activities on their own. And uh, some, it's one of our biggest growth areas uh, at iTrax. This next case study was uh, done for Star Produce. And uh, they're a, a produce supplier to grocery store chains. And they were looking for consumer feedback um, for a new uh, tomato product launch prior to an upcoming holiday. Um, so it was the biggest grilling season of the season. And they wanted to, to secure feedback on uh, two different uh, tomato types. And they were able to do this project and hit a a fairly small budget, considering what uh, what was conducted for this uh, particular company um, in a very short amount of time. There, there was a variety of, of uh, in-store video recordings, also video recordings done in their home environments, working with uh, these tomatoes and the, and the new tomato product uh, that this uh, particular brand was testing, and uh, really great uh, experience for them, and it was done at a fraction of the cost of uh, using uh, traditional methods methods where you're maybe sending video ethnographers um, and, a, and a moderator with each respondent on these trips. And, and I mean, you can just imagine the timeline of this project, I believe, was about three weeks start to finish, um, which included the recruiting and the research design and then all of the video analysis. So very uh, quick turnaround uh, on this particular project. Here's another uh, great video example of some of the respondent uploaded videos uh, for this particular uh, shopping experience. Let me just back up here, and we'll make sure that we can play that video. So you can see we're in a grocery store environment, and we have a series of different respondents here utilizing their, their mobile devices. And these these videos were actually created right in our platform um, with our Video Highlight Reel creation tool. So really good quality coming from uh, mobile devices. Okay, well that's, uh, that's it for me. What I'm going to do next is I'm going to turn um, the presentation back over to Dan, and Dan is going to facilitate a question and answer period uh, from the GoToMeeting chat area. So please feel free to, to send uh, questions my way, and I'd be more than happy to answer them for you.
Go ahead, Dan. Dan, you might be muted. Let's try this. Thank you, Joel. Uh, can you hear me now? Yeah, sure can. Thank awesome. you. Well, thank you, everyone, for uh, uh, being part of this. Um, obviously, there's um, we've provided you a few examples of how video can be used in, in a qualitative setting, both in the capture side of things and on the display and, and uh, management. But uh, we welcome everybody's uh, questions now, and we'll see if we can get through uh, get through them before uh, we're finished. So you could go ahead and just type your questions in the question area at, at the bottom of the screen. Okay, well, we got one here, uh, Joel. What is the maximum length of, of videos that can be uploaded uh, using your mobile app? That's a great question, Dan, and I get asked this question um, quite often. We actually have not um, implemented limits into mobile videos, um, so what we've done is we've provided guidelines. What we recommend to um, uh, moderators or, or uh, people who are designing research with our mobile software is that you recommend to the respondents to record between two and five minute videos. Essentially for every minute of video you're recording, it's about a minute to upload under a standard high speed connection. So anytime you're, you're dealing with longer videos, um, you have to start to consider incentive uh, compensation for the respondents. If you need you know, 20 or 30 minute videos, for instance, um, you are going to have to, to pay some additional incentives to have the respondents uh, be willing to record videos of that length. But where I've seen the greatest success is in that two to five minute uh, duration for videos. Now, I'm, I'm going to elaborate a little bit here on that question as well because we do have a time limit uh, on the webcam recording. So if you're doing webcam interviews in the iTrax board platform, so asynchronous uh, video recordings, we do have a 15 minute limit uh, on the webcam uh, recordings, but that's the only place where we, we actually have a hard limit. What we found um, over the years doing video based uh, research is, is when we, we uh, incorporated uh, limits into our videos like we did when we first started working with video uh, years ago, um, is our clients always wanted an extra couple of minutes, so uh, we've kind of moved away from um, having limits for the most part in our, in our platform. Awesome. Thank you. Um, we have another question here. It says, um, if you have a video recorded on your phone uh, but, do not, uh, but, but not done within the app, can you still upload it to the board? Yes, that's another great question, and yes, that is something we can uh, accommodate. So you have uh, access, or our app provides access to the device's uh, video or picture library, so uh, there is an option for the respondents to attach a video that they've previously recorded. So let's say they go out and do their shopping exercise without having the app up, and they're just recording videos and, and storing them on their device. When they get back into their Wi-Fi zone at home, they can go ahead and attach uh, those videos from mobile directly to uh, our software. So that's another great way to get video uh, into our platform. I would like to bring, your, bring to your attention a great resource um, on the iTrax website um, for webinars. Um, and product demos and articles and it, basically anything that, we've, that we're running on an ongoing basis we put up at this website. It's simply itrax.com slash resources and again that's, that's available right from the itrax website. Um, and if you're looking to explore uh, video feedback within your upcoming research projects I would also like to bring to your attention a document sharing tips and best practices on utilizing video content in, uh, in online market research and that is available from the site. 